Salutations wet shavers, Spencer here back for another shave video. Back here again to do blade reviews again, uh, like I was doing before I'd had a break. And um, today, <laughs> I just thought I would get the one that I think is going to shave terribly, which is awesome. This is the Sharp Star. It looks like it was designed by a preschooler. <laughs> um, yeah, packaging, not pretty. I'm not even sure where it's made. Maybe it's on the blade. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be using a 34C with this just to try and be as safe as possible. Um, I'm also going to be using a Yaki shaving brush. This is a Mew Brown knot. It's actually really nice, but gave this to my girlfriend to try and then she left it laying down and so it's constantly got that little flat spot, but it still feels fine on the face. I'm going to be using face fat. I'm going to be sticking to it. <laughs> try and Try and use it until it's gone. And um, Stray Whisker After Balm, absolutely love this stuff, perfect for winter. And also today, I'm going to be using PAA The Cube um, on the face. I have generally been um, for most days of the week, but whenever I do a video, I tend to forget. So, didn't forget it this time. I'm worried, but it should be good. Going to be rocking it in a 34C, like I said previously, just to be safe. Um, and also because it's a very, very popular razor, so you guys can sort of get where I'm coming from when I explain how it feels to me. Um, also, don't take reviews, um, you know, like don't make it your be all and end all for a purchase. Um, just sort of take it as it comes. And, you know, if... Oh! Are these made by the same company as Voshgod? Because that looks... Oh, it's funny, I actually have a pack of Vosh gods here. It actually looks... Like, the font looks the same. That's on the blade and lattice, I think. I don't know. There might be more intelligent people... Well, there definitely are more intelligent people out there than me that may know where this comes from um, or where it's actually made, not just where the brand is. All right, let's get this on. 34C. Um, I've already put hot water to my face, but I'm going to do a little bit again and also put on the cube as a pre-shave. Um, I really like using that with face lathering just because you're mixing the activated charcoal into the soap and I feel like it makes quite a difference. I think it's really, really good. Oh, This is the Lavender Scent by Face Fat and this is just one of those soaps that whenever I don't know what soap to pick, I either pick this or Mitchell's Wool Fat at the moment, just because the scent on this is beautiful. I am a big, big fan of just lavender. I really, really dig it. This is a very dark, earthy... It, it's only just straight up lavender, but I'm like the actual scent itself is quite dark and earthy. It's really, really good. All right, more hot water to the face. Very good. Pair the cube. But yeah, after using this for the f for a couple of weeks in pretty much every shave, does make me want to really look at the tube um, just for travel and stuff so I can take, you know, like an average cream but make it an excellent shave with the tube. Um, all right, here we go. I really like the look of this um, yaki knot, hey? Really, really nice looking knot. Um, I can't really remember how it feels. I think it's really soft, decent backbone. We'll see. Like, not as much backbone as most tuxedos. Alright. Add a decent amount of water because also this um, activated charcoal, uh, well, the pre-shave really sucks in a decent amount of water so you will find you will need a little bit more water than you may do with just the soap on its own I really really like the look of the products coming out from um, Douglas at the moment is doing some awesome things that um gel chill gel <laughs> it's really cool this is making an awesome lather
as good as any soap I have. It really is. It's incredible. Can't wait to see um, activated charcoal bases start coming in. Um, if anyone's wanting to sell that payera, preferably in the oud scent, that would be incredible. Or want to trade. I've got razors, brushes, soap sets, whatever. Didn't really have a choice with a thin leather. <laughs> this brush is just, this is a really nice brush. I was just talking about it yesterday with the Frank Shaving um, brush that these mass produced brushes that perform incredibly well. It's just, if you've got the money to support a small artisan, obviously do that. But if not, then these Yakis and DS Cosmetics, they are incredible value. All right, the sharp star. It's actually not bad, eh? It feels better than that um, Gillette Super Stainless that I had, the vintage Super Stainless. That's weird. I've got a day's growth, so my skin is actually at its most sensitive and it's still very, very comfortable. <laughs> I thought this was going to be terrible. I've got three other packs of blades here. I was just ready for, uh, for mayhem. Shave isn't over yet. But so far, I could do a three-pass shave with this uh, blade, and I may do. I may just try and get super close. It's actually really good. That's so smooth. It like it feels like a perma sharp to me. That's what it feels like. Almost can't feel it. Beautiful. Guys, <laughs> I'm sure online that that blade would be cheap as chips. Just buy a bloody 50 pack, it's really good. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. And as usual, super slickness from all these products that I'm putting on my face. I really like this knot. It's like a less dense tuxedo. Just splays really easy, but it's not like mega ultra soft, so you can still feel it, which I like. It's an in-between of like a tuxedo and a mother load. It's a weird in-between. All right, cross the grain. Yeah, I'll do a third pass today. This is so comfortable. <laughs> Was not expecting this at all. Nice and gentle on the neck. I'm not doing like I did with the rocker. So silly. Because the rocker is so comfortable for me now, I just keep going over and over, but it's actually a really efficient razor.
There on that main treble spot of mine, super comfortable. That's crazy. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Blades is actually sort of one uh, thing that I struggle most with. Like Gillette Nassets wasn't a fan. I used it two, three shaves, and then I tried another one off camera. Still wasn't a fan. But this, this is a really nice blade. <laughs> For me, way better than an asset. <laughs> Sounds silly, doesn't it? Because I know it's an absolute favourite in the community, so I don't know. Maybe I've got a dud pack. I do have another pack there. All right. Another thin paint on. Should I go against the grain? I'm thinking so. I'll probably put Alan on though. Against the grain, you can feel the sharpness sort of lacking. Just by a little bit. Still stupid comfortable. I need to be careful otherwise I'll have a rocker version too. Alex, mate, I'm doing a third pass for you. <laughs> it's so annoying. I got really fair skin. So even when I've gone against the grain and that's BBS, can still bloody see it. Man, that is too comfortable. That is so good. All right, I've got to try and not bloody old chase the dragon. <laughs> wow. Three pass shave with, across, and against the grain. With packaging that looks like it's been done by a preschooler. Wow. <laughs> they need to put more effort into making this look incredible because no one would ever buy one of these willingly going, oh, maybe these look like an awesome blade. You, ju you just don't. <laughs> but you should. So look this up, Sharp Star Platinum Coated. I'm sure they would be available and I'm sure they would be cheap as chips. Oh my god, that setup is incredible with the face fat and the cube. Wow. That's just insane. Absolutely insane. I'm stoked with that. To give that a rating out of 10, probably an eight and a half, that blade. One point off for packaging. <laughs> um, but I'm sure the price would more than make up for that. Um, and also, that one little bit of against the grain, um, it, it didn't tug or anything, but it I, it just didn't feel as sharp as something, say, the treats or the bit chromes or the definitely not a feather. Um, 
But yeah, very, very similar to a permasharp. So if permasharps work well for you, definitely give those a go because uh, I think you'll really enjoy them if you're a permasharp fan. It is one of those blades that in the 34C, for me, I don't really feel it. Which I prefer something with a little bit of blade feel to it. Not, not rough, but to be able to actually feel the blade on there. Like the Treat Platinum. All right, I'm going to let this dry on my face, all right, and um, then after that, I'll come back, rinse it off, and put the aftershave balm on back for the post. You guys take care. Catch you in a sec. All righty, guys, I'm back. It's been a couple of minutes. I've let it dry onto the face. Really good. I, I th in my opinion, when I start getting bits like this, this is what I do all the time now. Um, I cover myself in alum all on the face. I let it dry. You'll feel it start sort of making your face tight. And um, that sort of means it's, you know, in there. And then you wipe it off. And then what I'm going to do is rehydrate with After Balm. Puts in some really, really good skin foods. The um, ingredients list on, on this is amazing. I'm not going to read it out, but it, it is on the Stray Whisker. And it is an absolute cult balm. <laughs> um, the cult following for this stuff is pretty big. And the people who have used it absolutely are obsessed with it. It's really, really good. And it's one of those ones, once you start using it, you'd, you'd find it weird not, not to use it. Um, but it is one of those ones where I, I don't like putting anything over the top of that balm. And, you know, I just spray myself with cologne. I know some people do like witch hazel, then splash, and then a balm, and all this stuff, and I don't want to fill my face with that many chemicals, so I try and keep it as minimal as possible. So alum, it's just one single ingredient, and then the wonderful after balm. All right, let's rinse this off. So it's a very important lesson, doesn't it? Never judge a book by its cover. Sharp Star. Absolute winner of a blade. Really, really good. I'm super impressed. I was not expecting that. I was expecting this to be an absolute trash review. Um, that's what I was sort of going in for. Um, I know, I, I, I think I have a Gillette Goal sitting around somewhere. And I remember Chris using it like three or four times and he said it's the worst blade he's ever used. I want to give that a crack. And also, I think Racer, was that a bad one? I can't really remember. Um, anyway. I want to try use some weird blades. You know those small unknown brands? Use those before I get into my expensive vintages that I have. All right. God, this stuff's the best. Oh. Unscented, but it's just high quality stuff. Really, really good. Con, you worked some awesome magic with this. Anyway, guys, that was the shave. Sharp star is sharp. And it is the star of the shave. Absolutely incredible. Um, pair it up with the 34C if you've got it. Let me know what you think. If you are going to buy one, let me know. And um, yeah, try and you know post up what, how it went. And um, see if you had the same results as me. Maybe I just got a very fluke packet. Or I don't know because it's absolutely incredible. <laughs> you guys take care. Stay safe. Make sure you guys stay positive. Catch you guys in the next one. See you later.